Okay, um, so that was number three. Anyone need any bit of number four done? Again, I know you can do it on the calculator, but we're learning the rules. Five. Five, do number five. So I have four squared multiplied by 16 to the power of a half divided by 64 to the power of... What's that say, girls? Two thirds, is it? Yeah. Multiply by four to the power of three, and I want to express it as four to the power of n, right? Okay, so I want to turn that into four to the power of n. That means I want to turn everything into four to the power of something, okay? This is four to the power of something already. Okay, no. There's a couple of ways to do it. You could say 16 to the power of a half is the same as um, the square root of 15, which is just, or square root of 16, which is four, yeah? Or what I'm going to do is, right, I'm going to show off more rules. So I'm going to say 16 is four squared, and that's all to the power of a half. Is that okay? So instead of 16, now this is not the fastest way to do it, but I just want to show off more rules. Is that all right? Okay, underneath the line, instead of 64, 4 by 4 by 4 is 64, isn't it? So that's 4 to the power of 3, all to the power of 2 thirds. Now you could just get 64 to the power of 2 thirds and it's 16, right? Okay, but I, I, I'm showing off my rules. That's okay. Multiplied by 4 to the power of 3. You all with me? On top of the line, I have 4 squared multiplied by... Raising a power to a power, you multiply. So that's four to the power of two multiplied by a half is one. Okay? Underneath the line, I'm raising a power to a power, I multiply. So three multiplied by two thirds is six thirds, which is just two. So it's four squared. Is that okay? Three multiplied by two thirds is two. Right? Multiply by four to the power of three. Are you all with me? Above the line, I'm multiplying, so I add the indices. So 4 to the power 2 multiplied by 4 to the power 1, you add the 2 and the 1 and you get the 3. Underneath the line, 4 to the power of, um, I'm multiplying again, so I add the indices, so 2 and 3 gives me 5. And then I'm dividing 3, so it's 3 take away 5, which is minus 2. So it's now written as 4 to the power of something. Right, is that okay? And that's your answer. And you leave it as a negative indice because, um, they asked you to write it as 4 to the power of something as opposed to 1 over 4 to the power of something. Okay, is that alright? Are we good? Right, that was number... whatever... Uh, 5. Anyone need number 6? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Find the value of uh, the rational number P for which 3 to the power of... Okay. 3 to the power of a quarter multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 sixth, is it? Right, all over uh, square root of 3, right? Equals 3 to the power of y. So basically, I have to play around with the left hand side to turn it into 3 to the power of something. Right, it's the same as the last question, except it's 3 to the power of instead of 4 to the power of. So above the line, right, I add my indices, right? I'm multiplying, so you just add. So you're adding a quarter plus 1 plus a sixth, okay? A quarter plus 1 plus a sixth, that's 3 twelfths, and 2 twelfths makes 5 twelfths. 1 and 5 twelfths, which is 17 over 12. Am I right? No. 17 over 12 when you added those. Okay, so on the calculator, quarter plus one plus a sixth. Right, okay. Underneath, square root of three can be written as three to the power of a half. Okay, and then this is a division, so it's top take away bottom. So seven over, 17 over 12 take away a half would be 11 over 12. Yeah. So equals 3 to the power of y, so that means y is equal to 11 over 12. Are we okay with that? So it's just a case of adding. Use your calculators to add a quarter, a, a one and one sixth. 
and square root of 3 is 3 to the power of a half and then it's a case of takeaway. Is that okay? Right, um, that was number 6. Uh, any bit of number 7? You had the part 2, part 3, part 4, part 5. Does anyone need any bit? Anyone need part 2? No. Part 3? No. Part 5? Yeah. Okay. So part 5 is a times the square root of b all to the power of minus 3 all over now is that square root of a cubed b. Is that okay? Right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn all the square roots into a power of a half. So that's a times b to the power of a half all to the power of minus 3 above the line and below the line that's a to the power of 3 b all to the power of a half okay so I've just changed my square roots to the power of a half right raising a power to a power so it's each one so that's a to the power of minus 3 and here it's a half multiplied by minus 3 so that means it's b to the power of minus 3 over 2 Raising a power to a power, you multiply a half, multiplied by minus 3 is minus 3 over 2. Okay, underneath the line, a to the power of 3 all to the power of a half is a to the power of 3 over 2. And that's just b to the power of a half then. Okay, then we're doing a division. So for the a's, you can divide those, so it's top, take away, bottom, right? Okay, so that's 3, minus 3 minus 3 over 2, right? So that's, yeah, my, remind me to change the roll there in a while. Minus 3 minus 3 over 2, um, which is minus 9 over 2. That's a 9 there, sorry, it might look like an 8. Minus 9 over 2, I think, right? And that's minus 3 over 2 minus a half, which would be minus 2. Sorry, that should be a B. Are we good with that? And they said, write them with positive indices up at the top of the question. Okay, so I need to bring each of those downstairs. So it's a to the power of nine over two downstairs and b to the power of plus two. And I can't have nothing upstairs, so I put a one. Is that all right? Any questions? Where did I get? No, we're okay. Everyone saw where everything came from? Okay, that's seven part five. Seven part six, am I doing it? Yeah. So seven part six is the fourth root of x to the power of, what's that? Seven, is it? Right, all over the square root of x to the power of three. Right, okay, so... Uh, Instead of those roots, write it as a uh, power. So that's x to the power of 7. The fourth root is all to the power of a quarter. And underneath the line, I have x to the power of 3 all to the power of a half. Square root is to the power of a half. Is that okay? Raising a power to a power, I multiply. So 7 quarters is 7 over 4. Underneath the line, raising a power to a power, you multiply 3 by a half is 3 over 2, or 1 and a half. Then we have a division, so it's the top take away the bottom. So that would be 7 over 4 take away 3 over 2. So that would be um, 7 over 4 take away 6 over 4, which would be 1 over 4. Sorry. Equals x to the power of 1 over 4. No, that's wrong. No, it's right. Yeah, it's right, isn't it? Right. Okay, are we good? Right, um, eight part one, anyone? Yeah? Yeah. So eight part one is x to the power of a half plus x to the power of minus a half divided by x to the power of a half. Okay, what I pointed out to you yesterday, girls, there's no way of adding. You can't add indices. We don't have a shortcut. We only have shortcuts. For multiply, divide, raising a power to a power, etc. 
right? There's no way of adding. So you can't add, right? But what you can do is you can give each one, it's the first term divided by x to the power of a half plus the second term divided by x to the power of a half. Do you know what I mean? So instead of having them all over one common denominator, just give them the common denominator each. Okay? Then it's, this is a division, x to the power of a half divided by x to the power of a half, subtract. So it's a half take away a half, which is zero, right? And here it's x to the power of minus a half, minus a half is minus one. Is that okay? Anything to the power of zero is one, right? And uh, x to the power of minus one, do they want you to do? They just say simplify. Right, okay, I could leave it like that, so, right, or I could write that it's upstairs, so I could bring it downstairs, so it's 1 plus 1 over x, okay, is that right? And that's your answer, that's it simplified. Are we good with that? Right, um, yeah, sorry. A part two? Anyone? Okay. A part three? Yeah. Okay. Can I go? Yeah. Right. So A part three is root x plus the square root of x to the power of three all over root x. Okay. So what I'm going, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn all those square roots to powers. So that's x to the power of a half plus x to the power of three all to the power of a half all over x to the power of a half. Again, there is no way of adding, right? There's no way of adding. We've no rule to add them, okay? But what I can do is I can give each, each term its own common denominator, its own denominator. So that's x to the power of a half divided by x to the power of a half plus, I might as well multiply these, that's x to the power of 3 over 2 divided by x to the power of a half. With me? Right, x to the power of a half divided by x to the power of a half, subtract the indices, so a half take away a half is 0. Right? Plus, x to the power of 3 over 2 take away a half is 1. Okay, so that's 1 plus x, that's right, sir. All right, we good? That was it? Right, okay. The next thing we're doing is we're moving on to equations involved in indices, okay? So, Again, we did these in junior search. We're just doing harder versions of them now. You'd be delighted to hear. Okay, so um, exponential equations. Exponential girls, exponents are the powers. So they're equations involving powers. Right, and I'm going to go straight to examples, right? Because as I say, we've done this before. Example one. Solve. Two to the power of x equals 32. So an easy one to start with. Okay, so if the left side is written as two to the power of something, you need to write the right hand side as two to the power of something. So the clue is in the question, if one thing is written as 2 to the power of, everything needs to be written as 2 to the power of. So instead of 32, I can write 32 as 2 to the power of what? 2 to the power of? Five. 
5, thank you. Right, 2 to the power of 5. 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 is 32. Right? Okay, and once you've 1, 2 to the power of equals 1, 2 to the power of. Now, there has to be 1 at each side, only 1. You knock off the 2s, right, and you say x equals 5. Vague recollection of these? Very vague, yeah? Example 2. Okay. So I'm building the up small, okay? Example 2, 9 to the power of x equals 1 over 27. Okay, so this is 9 to the power of. Can you write 27 as 9 to the power of? No, because the first 9 to the power of is 9 squared, isn't it? And 9 squared is 81, would you agree? So 9 is too big. So let's go smaller. So what could I write everything as a power of? 3. So you write everything as a power of 3. So instead of 9, what would 9 be? 3 to the power of what? 2. So it's 3 to the power of 2, all to the power of x, equals 1 over 27. What will I write that as? 3 to the power of? 3. Okay. Now, I have, well, I can raise the power to a power, so I'll just multiply. Okay. 1 all over 3 to the power of 3. Now my problem here is one's upstairs, one's downstairs. Okay, they have to be both at the same level, right? So what'll I do? The one over here, I'll bring it upstairs, won't I? So when I bring three to the power of three upstairs, what happens to it? It becomes what? Three to the power of, three to the power of minus three. Now, that one doesn't mean anything, so I can just drop it. And underneath the line, it's over one. There's nothing left underneath the lines over one, so I don't need to put in any one. Am I good? What I do now? Knock off the trees. There's one tree to the power of it each side. And you get 2x equals minus 3. So that means x is equal to minus 3 over 2. We good with that? Right. Okay. Example 3. Sorry. Are you finished? Okay, example three, um, two to the power of x equals root two over two. Okay, two to the power of, can I write everything as two to the power of? Yeah, so it's two to the power of x over this side, instead of square root of two, what do I write that as? Two to the power of a half. Underneath the line, two is two to the power of one, isn't it? Would you agree? Okay, so 2 to the power of x, this is the division over here, so it's the top take away the bottom. Just be careful, it's the top take away the bottom. So it's a half take away 1, so a half take away 1 is minus a half, isn't it? Okay, and then I have a 2 to the power of equals, a 2 to the power of, knock off the 2's and you get x is equal to minus a half. Is that okay? Yes. Be able to just yeah. 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 Right, okay. Uh, example four. Okay, I should have left more room for example four. 16 to the power of x minus 1 equals 2 root 32. Okay. Right. Okay. So 16. I'm definitely not writing that over here as a power of 16. So what will I write everything as a power of? 2. two. So 16 as a power of 2. What would that be? 2 by 2 by 2 by 2. So it's 2 to the power of 4. So it's 2 to the power of 4. All to the power of x minus 1. Just be careful with that. Okay. Over here. 2 on its own is 2 to the power of 1, and beside root 2 means it's multiplied by 2 to the power of a half. Agreed? Right. Over here, I need to multiply 4 by x minus 1. So just be careful with that. To multiply 
dx by the 4 and the minus 1 by a 4. So that's 2 to the power of 4x minus 4. With me? Over this side, add them. 2 to the power of, it's multiplied, so you're adding the indices. 1 plus a half is 3 over 2 or 1 and a half. Is that okay? 1, 2 to the power of it each side, knock it out. So you get 4x minus 4 equals 3 over 2. So you get 4x, bring over the 4. Right, how am I going for time? Oh no, I'm fine. So it's 3 over 2 plus 4. So that means 4x is equal to 5.5, which is 11 over 2. And then divide by 4. So you get x is equal to, divide by 4, you get 11 over 8. Is that okay? I just divided 11 over 2 divided by 4. Is, are we all okay with that? Right, okay. And last example. And it's obviously going to be the hardest one. Example 5. Right, and the question is solve for C. So I should figure out what C stands for. Okay, not what X stands for, what C stands for. Okay, right. Okay, suggestions. You know the way 2 to the power of X plus 2 to the power of X. You can't add those, you can't, there's no rule for adding those. But it's, it's like writing, adding y plus y. If you add y plus y, what do you get? 2y. If you add z plus z, what do you get? 2z. If you get add 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x, you will get 2 times 2 to the power of x. Would you agree? Agree? Over this side, right, I will... Um, Multiply into the brackets, maybe? Will I? What I might do is, you know the way this was added? That means they were originally multiplied, wasn't it? So that was originally 2 to the power of x. Sorry. Yeah, multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. Would you agree? Multiply by c minus 2. Do you know the way? Instead of, you know, if they're multiplied, you'd add the indices. So instead of... Multiplying them and adding the indices, I broke it up. I said, oh, if they were added, they were originally multiplied by. Do you, do you see what I've done? Does everyone see where I've come up with this? If they were, the indices, if the, the x and the 2 are added, that means they, they were originally 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. Agreed? Okay. Right, this is 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of x equals, um, I'll leave this as 2 to the power of x. Multiply by 4. I might as well multiply. Or no, I won't bother. C minus 2. Right. Anyone make a suggestion? Multiply into the brackets. You could. Say that again. Uh, no. Can't because they're multiplied. Right. Will I multiply into the brackets? So 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of x multiplied by 4 multiplied by c yeah take away 2 to the power of x multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2 yeah so i've just multiplied in by that okay anyone spot something that's common to every single term is there anything that's in every single term? 2 to the power of x, yeah? So if I divide everything by 2 to the power of x, 
you know, you can do whatever you want to an equation as long as you do it to the whole line. So I'm going to divide everything by 2 to the power of x. With me? Gone, gone, left with a 2. Yeah? Gone, gone, left with a 4c. Yeah? Gone, gone, what am I left with? 8 minus 8. Yeah? 4 twos are 8. Yeah? Now I just have c's on one side, numbers on the other. So I get 4c equals 10. So that means c is equal to 10 over 4, which cancels down to 5 over 2. There's a lot of working out in that, isn't there? Right? Okay, so when you get to these ones, you really have to know your rules. Okay, so I'm going to give you a load of these for homework. Again, we'll build it up like I did my examples. We'll start on easy ones and we'll finish up on something like this. Okay, so... um. Can I move this up? Page 479. Let's do one, two, three, um. Is that 479 or 479? I forgot to write the seven. Sorry, that was so stupid. One, two, three, let's do five, um. Let's do seven, eight. Right, seven and eight I haven't done an example of, but just have a go. They kind of tell you how to do it in number seven, and you do the same thing in number eight without. Just, just have a go, and I'll learn it out tomorrow, okay? Right, so that'll do me. Oh, yeah, except one, two, and three not the part ones so not the part ones because they're your examples that i just did so one part two and three two part two and three three part two and three and then you can do all of five all of seven and all of eight is that right okay